Happy gardening everyone. Hope your gardening season is going awesome. Anyways, today I just wanted to talk about how you can make some easy money on your homestead or small farm here. Um, it's really getting me through here. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I've been growing a lot of lettuce this year. I've been growing my Salanova mix every season for the past four or five years. But this year it's unreal. Um, I'm new, doing my new 50 foot beds if you've seen my previous videos. Um, how I hand dug them all. That, but I'm just gonna go through how I start them, how much money I've made so far off one bed lettuce, and um, just how to get it out there. Um, so usually what I do, I start them in trays. So I start them in my 128 cell trays here, and these ones are pretty close to being ready to transplant. Probably another three, four days, and I'll get them in. They're getting nice and big here, and these ones are a bit smaller, but they should be ready in a few days. So the varieties that I grow here are the red sweet crisp, the green sweet crisp, the red butter crunch, green butter crunch, and last time I ordered some red oak leaf, which was a really nice lettuce too. I didn't order any this time, but I probably should have because it's a nicer head. It heads up pretty big, and it uh, it's great for the mix as well. So one reason I like the Salanova lettuce is when I cut and wash it and get it to my customers. It has a two week shelf life at least. I had a lady come up to me the other day, said she's had it in her fridge for almost three weeks now. Um, so you guys know, you guys as farmers or gardeners, knowing when you cut your food fresh, it's gonna last a long time in fridges. If you store them properly, it's not like the stuff you get from the grocery store where they ship it. By the time it gets to you, it's two weeks and things are pretty much almost rotten. Um, so it's pretty awesome and I can't keep it on the shelf. So I'm new up here in Bangor this year and I've sold a few bags to a few people. They've been coming back every single week to the farmer's market. And they even come up to the farm here and pick it up during the week because we're two bags every two, three days. And it's unreal. I think I was going to be able to keep up with it, but I've got more beds planted and uh, it's really exciting. So that's just how I start it. I'll take you up to the garden and show you what it looks like in the garden. And we'll talk about uh, the economics of my Salanova lettuce. So this is my third bed of Salanova lettuce I've done this year. I did one in the greenhouse, which was a 20 by 30, or 30, sorry, 30 foot bed. But this is my 50 foot bed. This was the second planting of it. So you can tell they're not big enough quite yet. Some of them are. But here's the other bed over here that I've been cutting, working on. So these guys are all ready to be cut, like they're almost past the prime. So we need to get them cut real quick. This is the other part of the bed I've done the previous two weeks. So the nice thing about Salanova lettuce is it's a cut and come again lettuce. So once you cut it, it'll grow back again. You can cut it again for two cuts. And this is the second cut. This needs to be cut again. And these ones are coming back all the second time. I think these were first cut, I haven't cut those ones yet, but these guys, guys will be the second cuts. So up to this point now, in this bed here, up to this spot here, I think it's been roughly $500, $550, somewhere in between there, of my first cut at Salanova. And the lettuces were a lot smaller than what these ones were. They're probably more like this size of the red oak leaf and the sweet crisp. Um, sweet crisp is really big. So I'll show you the types of lettuces. This is the red sweet crisp. It's a really nice lettuce. This is the green sweet crisp. I find this is the best grower of the four that I grow. It's the heaviest too. So it's nice to have that planted in because it's going to make your bags a bit heavier. Here's the red oak leaf I was talking about. I like this lettuce a lot. Um, I didn't really start growing it until last year because they were out of all other seeds. So I ordered this as a substitute for one of the lettuces. Um, and down here is your green butter crunch and your red butter crunch. And so the green butter crunch can get pretty big too. So the Salanova mix I get from Johnny Seeds. Um, I'm up in Canada as most of you probably know. Um, this time I got ding with duties. And taxes which is a brutal it's like 40 bucks extra on top of my order i usually order a thousand seeds um of each friday so i get four thousand seeds 
and that usually lasts me a season but this year I might need more um, I did half I had half left over last year and I already got some more seeds ordered which I have now but I'm hoping to plant at least four more beds of this and it's gonna be really profitable so like I said I think right now about five five hundred fifty dollars just for this bed here I'm gonna cut this today and we will weigh it up and hopefully out of this I bet you any money we'll probably get at least close to 20 to 30 bags of lettuce and I sell my lettuce for six dollars for half a pound I bet you anyway I could probably use seven bucks for half a pound but I think six bucks is pretty reasonable uh, like I said I have customers coming back day in day out can't get enough of this it stays fresh for two weeks at least um, so yeah here we go this is my favorite lettuce to grow on the homestead farm to make your money and it doesn't really bolt either I haven't had it bolting at all um, so I'm really excited so what we'll do here I'll set the camera up and show you some quick cutting of it and then uh, the other thing I forgot to mention too when I'm seeding in my trays I think it's eight rows across so I'll do two rows of the sweet crisp green crisp two rows of the sweet red crisp two rows of the sweet butter crunch and two rows, ro rows of the green butter crunch and then when I plant it out I'll just go across my trays taking two of each and planting them kind of across like this so you get almost two 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 and then as you go down it should be a fairly good mix uh, when you get down to the end um, this batch here it doesn't have much of the butter crunch in but that's okay we toss it has an oak leaf so we'll be tossing the oak leaf in but yeah you just toss it in mix it up and you're good to go so let's get some of this cut here and really excited to be cutting so when you cut your lettuce here you don't want to go too low to it because if you go too low you're going to cut the root area so you want to cut just high enough that you're going to be able to get a second cut out of it and it's probably about half inch up like that so you're just leaving this little piece here and that'll regrow right there so we'll go down here and cut some more up and I started weed as well when as I go so here's the red oak leaf and if you really wanted to you could probably sell them as heads as well like three bucks a head I would think would be fair for the great big green sweet crisp and people would buy it no problem but I find that my mix I'm getting a pretty good price for it six bucks a pound or sorry six bucks for half a pound and I'm not even selling at stores I'm just selling at the farmers market and to customers that come by the house so it's a pretty good deal okay I'll finish this off quickly and then show you guys how much I get out of it. The thing I wanted to mention as well is when I first started going selling over this, I would do five, five rows across. Um, but that's way too much. The heads don't get as big. So this year I've done four rows across. So you can see one, two, three, four. And they head up way better. And I think they're about six inches apart when I transplant them. Uh, here's some other stuff I put in a few weeks ago. So you can see the spacing. Some are a bit closer than others. Like that's definitely too close. But you probably want a spacing like this, especially for the sweet green crisp. But that's the spacing I generally do. And so I've cut, I don't even know, like 15 heads so far and I'm almost full of this basket. Um, these ones here, this could have been cut, cut a bit lower um, to regrow back better. So it's more like this. You want to be growing or cutting like that. So I'm just going to cut maybe five or six more heads for now that's all the room we have in the fridge and then what I do too for my customers I wash and spin it um, so it's ready to go for them so that's the added value there for the six dollars a pound they go home they don't have to do any work and they appreciate that quite a lot and that just makes your uh, customer service look that much better when you're selling your lettuce so I'll finish this quickly I'll do a few more and uh, we'll show you how much we get at the end of it here all right so that's what I'm going to do for now that usually gets me a thing about 12 bags worth. We'll see, because I have a lot of the green crisp, sweet green crisp in there. It's gonna be a bit heavier. But you can tell I've hardly cut any here. But I need to cut the rest of this, hopefully later on today or tomorrow. We just have a really small fridge in the basement for my veggie stuff. And we just picked a bunch of scapes, so I'm kind of limited on room. We're supposed to be making some garlic scape pesto. Hopefully Chris and, Chris and gets time to do that. Because I've got this to do, I've got beets to do, two or three bunches of beets. And then I've got some basil cut in greenhouse, 
and there's something else I had to cut in the market this week, some kale, and what else? And I think that's pretty much it for now. But um, yeah, I'll show you the bags once I've done this inside. Actually, I'll tell you about it right now. So the bags I use are the plastic six pound bags, and it fills up perfectly for your eight ounces, or half a pound, you're weighing up on your scale. And I just tie it with my hands and uh, toss in the fridge and uh, stay fresh for the two weeks, like I said. So I'll show you the bags and the bagging process when it's, uh, we get inside here. So that's the scale I use the smart way. You can use my affiliate link to buy one if you want. I've had it for two or three years now, it's going strong. Two AA batteries, works great, different modes. Okay, so here's the bags of lettuce done. Got four bags so far. Eight ounce bags, nice and full, tied on the top, ready to go for market. Okay, I need to finish this up real quick, get in the fridge and ready for market. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you learned how to plant your lettuce there so you can get some easy money, 500 bucks at least, 600 bucks at least off a 50 foot by 30 inch bed. And it's gonna put some money into your pocket and pay for your seeds real quick and happy will keep coming back to you over and over again so thanks for watching guys if you have any questions leave the comments down below there i'll respond and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you up there have a great day happy gardening